everyone and welcome to this video which is about a readathon that I have decided to do for myself this upcoming week. So it's not a readathon that takes place anywhere on Twitter or on booktube in general, it's just for me and there is Zeus leaving. So as you know I this year have a project of reading all of my unread books and I really want to make it dent into my TBR because I started out this year with about 90 books and I'm now down to 69, which is great. But I really, really want to make an enormous dent into my TBR pile. So I am dedicating this upcoming week, maybe 9, 10 days, to read as much as I possibly can. Today is Thursday. I am lucky to be off from work. So I'm actually going to Copenhagen and I'm bringing first this book with me, which I would very much like to finish today. I have about 50 pages left, so that should be doable. And also I'm bringing with me The Beginner's Goodbye by Anne Tyler. I should be able to start this one today, not finish it, but at least make my way into the beginning. Haha, <laughs> The Beginner's Goodbye. Anyway, that's my plan for today. I will check back with you later today, maybe in the evening, and tell you how everything went. But first, I need my coffee. Mm. Oh, it's a little bit hot. Hi guys, it is now 9 in the evening and this pimple is driving me nuts. I've had the most amazing day of reading, meaning that I have read much more than I thought that I would. I first finished The Golden Fool by Robin Hub and then I went straight on to The Beginner's Goodbye which I also finished a couple of minutes ago and I'm just so surprised that I actually read a whole book in one day. It's been a long time since I last did that. So the first day of my readathon has been going really really well. I've had a great relaxing day and yeah, I'm about to go to bed just to be ready to work tomorrow. But apart from that, I will check back with you tomorrow and tell you about my further reading plans in this readathon. Hi guys, today is Friday and I just got home from work. Last night I picked up a book just before I went to sleep and that is naturally the book that I plan on reading most of today and that is Atonement by Ian McEwan. It does have a lot of words on each page and it is a quite compact book if you know what I mean. So I'm not getting my hopes up high, I'm not planning on finishing it or anything today but so far I'm about 30 pages in and I am adoring it. I have watched the movie some years back and I do kind of remember it but it's just such a different experience to read the book. So this is my reading plans for today and later tonight I will tell you about how much I managed to read. But before I can actually sit down and read this wonderful book I have to bake a cake for a birthday party that I'm going to tomorrow but after that I will have the rest of the day to actually sit down and read. It is now half past nine in the evening and I am tired. I'm so pathetic. I made it more than halfway through this book, which I'm very pleased about. It has been such a long time since I last spent an evening reading. I mean, besides from baking the cake and making some food for myself, I spent the past hours reading. And it's been really great, but now I'm too tired to continue. So I'm going to turn myself in. That's not what you say. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed. That was what I was trying to say and I will be back again tomorrow. I am up again and today is Saturday and actually my plans for today have been completely rearranged because the birthday party that I was going to has been cancelled which means that I have all day today for myself. I've also decided to make an improvised trip to Copenhagen to watch the movie Lion which I really really want to watch and it's not going anywhere in the cinemas near me. So I'm going to Copenhagen today. In my hands I have the books that I'm bringing with me. Now this morning I managed to read another 70 pages in Atonement so I have about 100 pages left and I'm definitely going to complete those today and then on my trip to Copenhagen and for tonight I will bring actually two books because I can't decide 
which one I would like to read next. So the first one is Artful by Ellie Smith and the other one is The Winds of Heaven by Monica Dickens. It kind of depends on whether I'm in the mood for Ellie Smith or a classic but I am definitely in the mood for one of these so as per usual I will talk to you later and let you know how much I got read. And Zeus is going to spend today in bed I assume. It is now Sunday evening so it's been a good day and a half since I last spoke to you and I have to say I have been super surprisingly successful in this readathon so far. I have been reading a lot this weekend and since I last spoke to you I have finished Atonement by Ian McEwan. I've also started and finished Artful by Ellie Smith. I have also started and finished The Winds of Heaven by Monica Dickens and I believe this was the last book I spoke about in my last clip. So this evening I decided to pick up Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell and I'm about 50 pages into this one. So yeah, for now I will take this with me to bed and I will probably spend tomorrow finishing it after work. But I will let you know once I've finished it and which book I plan on picking up next. By the way, I loved Lion, such a good movie. And look who we have here. <laughs> Zeus has been my reading buddy in my couch tonight, which has been really, really nice. And this is the exact place we sit every single night whenever I sit down to read. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday and I'm about to go to work. But before I do so, I do have time to tell you about my reading plans for the day. First of all, I would naturally like to finish Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. I managed to read about 50 more pages last night so I have about 100 pages left and after that because I do believe that I will be able to finish it within a few hours I would like to pick up this book by Haruko Murakami. I can never seem to remember the English title. It's something to do with a pilgrimage and that's Zeus who has woken up. Hello, Zeus. I have heard mixed reviews of this one. Zeus? Rihanna. This is actually the last book that I own of Murakami's that I haven't read. So it's going to be interesting to see what I think of it. Zeus is up and ready for the day. It is now Tuesday and I didn't read as much yesterday as I was hoping for. I mean, I did finish Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. But this book annoyed me so much so that I didn't want to pick up another one just yesterday. But today I do feel like picking up this book finally. And I won't pick it up until tonight obviously because I have to go to work. I read the synopsis for this book this morning and it sounded really really good. It, it's about four friends uh, and how they are separated because of a cruel secret. It kind of sounds like The Secret History by Donna Tart. I'm not saying it's going to be the same story at all, but I'm intrigued, so now I really want to dive my nose into this book. Good morning, everyone. It is now Wednesday morning, and as you can hear, I have kind of a sore throat today. I have actually read and finished this book, which I started yesterday, and I loved it so much. I think that's the reason why I read it in less than, a, less than a day. It was just fantastic. I will talk more about it in my reading vlog for this month. However, now is the time to find out what to pick up next because I don't have any books planned. I didn't plan on reading this many books in just one week. I'm sitting here looking at my spring TBR pile, which I have here on my nightstand. And there is one book this book in specific, which I would like to maybe pick up. Let me just grab it. So this is the book and this is the one that takes place in Africa. Let me see if it's, yeah, it's a pretty good size paperback. And there is something about this novel that screams to me right now. So I think Shame by Melanie Finn will be my next read for this readathon. Sis, what did you think of this novel? Did you like it as well? I made it to page 217 in this book and that's it. I'm going to sleep now and I only have about 100 pages left of this so I will probably finish those tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Today is Thursday and I'm about to go to work but before I do so 
I would like to tell you about my reading plans for the day. I would like to first finish Shame by Melanie Finn. I would also very much like to pick up A Small Hotel by Robert Olin Butler, which I have heard amazing things about. I don't know how much I will be able to read. I do have quite some plans after work today, but I will try and get some reading done anyway and then check back with you later. Hi guys, today is Friday <clears throat> and I have a sore throat. I've been having this cold lately which has now stuck on my throat so that's why I'm sounding a little bit weird. Today is Friday as I was saying and I have decided to let this be my very last day of the readathon just because tomorrow, which is Saturday, is going to be my only day to actually edit and upload this video and also I feel kind of exhausted having read what eight books in the last week which has been so amazing I will say I've had so much fun but now the fun has to stop and I need to take a breath and just slow down a little bit so I thought that I would tell you about my reading plans for the day first of all I would like to finish a small hotel which I started yesterday and I almost made it all the way through and then last but not least I thought that it would be a nice way to wrap up this readathon with continuing the series that I actually started this readathon with let me just show you the book so that means I have grabbed this book from my spring TBR pile down there. This is the third book in the Tony Man trilogy by Robin Hart, Fool's Fate. And you might remember I started out this readathon with finishing the second book in this series. So I just thought that it would be kind of fun to start this one and then wrap up everything this way. I plan on finishing this book today. Obviously not. I'm joking. I do not plan on reading 900 pages in one day. I'm just going to take my time with this one and enjoy it thoroughly. And then I will be back again later with my last clip of this readathon and tell you how I did on this last day. It is now later in the evening and I'm sitting here in my couch with my book. I did manage to finish a small hotel today which is great and I have now read 37 pages in this one and I think I'm going to let that be it for this readathon simply because I feel tired and I kind of feel like I'm out of fuel. Maybe you can see Zeus in the background. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching this video as much as I had fun doing it. Until next video, have a great day and happy reading.